Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin. In yesterday's podcast, I talked about setting up your data in list format. And one of my rules there was that the heading can only take up one row. Well, you know, I know that sometimes managers ask for crazy things. I had a manager once that required a heading to be on two rows. It had to be sales on row one, rep on row two, centered. Drove me crazy. But there's a great way to handle this. If we go to one single cell, type the word sales, and then type alt enter and the second word rep hit enter that creates one cell that's two rows high now we can center that and when I print this my manager thinks I've done exactly what I've asked for however in reality I created one cell so that way all of Excel's IntelliSense will continue to work now what this is really doing is it's turning on wrap text but the alt enter is allowing us to control exactly where the wrap happens. A lot of you may try and do this using the wrap text function on the format cells. If we go to alignment and turn on wrap text, then you can start to type a really long cell heading and it will automatically wrap. But the really frustrating thing here is that you have to start playing with the column widths to get things to wrap exactly where you want them to wrap. Well, using Alt Enter, you can have Alt Enter, Exact Control, Alt Enter, over which words Alt Enter appear on which Alt Enter line. Using Alt Enter is a great way to turn on wrap text, but have explicit control over where the words wrap. It also makes sure that all of the data features that we're going to cover over the next several weeks will work perfectly because your data stays in list format. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.